thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, I am back and I'm back for good. I have taken a very long break um, off of YouTube with all this COVID stuff happening and my first year of YouTube. Um, oh my God, my first year <laughs> with my first year of high school. I just got really stressed out and I'm just like, okay, let me just take a break just breathe but now that it um is like my third quad vester i'm feeling great i have easy courses coming up so um i did put a poll or like a question thingy on my instagram and i asked um you guys what you wanted to see in my youtube videos coming up and a lot of you actually suggested my stretching routine so i went through all the stretches that i knew um or the ones that will be most beneficial and to fit in such a small time slot um so there's 22 of them we're going to be doing some meditation too and before we get into the video i just want to explain that i am not a professional i don't know half of the names for this stuff so if i get it wrong i'm so sorry <laughs> um i am a competitive dancer so that's why um I know all these stretch stretches. I've been dancing for, I think this is my 11th year, I'm pretty sure. So I know how to stretch my own body, but this is also beneficial for you to get up off your butt, to get up out of your chair from doing school or work all day, and to just take time for yourself and to meditate and to stretch. So before we get into the video, like, subscribe, and comment for future videos that you wanna see. So let's get into it. button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video okay so I just have my handy dandy notebook right here because there is a lot of them and um, I just don't want to forget any so I'm just gonna keep on looking at my paper to make sure I'm doing good so if you have your hair down please tie it up it you do not want your hair in your face while you're trying to stretch or meditate it's just very distracting and if you have a hoodie on or something that will get you hot very fast, you can keep it on during the medita meditation, but I strongly um, advise you to take it off while you're stretching. So um, if you have like a hoodie, you don't want it to fall in front of your face and it can get really distracting. Um, so the first thing we're going to start off is meditation. So we're going to start off with box breaths. So we're gonna go in for four and out for four, and I'll try to count, but I wanna be doing it like myself, so I'll probably just like snap my fingers like this. And I do have um, my AirPod in, so hopefully you can hear me. So we're gonna go, just close your eyes, try to be in this moment, not thinking about what you have to do later on in the day or what you have to do tomorrow, what assignments you have. Just to be here, present in the moment. We're gonna breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. to go into arm raises and we're gonna breathe in for four and out for four like we just did so one two three four and out two three four and two three four and out two three four and in and out and in and out okay good job now we're going to melt through the spine now when we're doing all of this stretching work you really want to make sure that you're articulating through your vertebrae so you're really giving your spine a good stretch in your back so we're going to go to the side one two three four and up two three four the other side two three four and up two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four to 
the front. One, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four. Okay, so that was our meditation. Um, hope you guys liked it. Comment down below um, if you maybe guys want to see some meditation videos. Um, but now we're going to actually get into the stretching component. Okay, so we are going to start with rolling our shoulders back and plieing at the same time. You really want to get the full motion in your arms and really plieing as deep as you can and now we're going to start doing them frontwards really getting all of the mobility in the shoulders moving those scapulas now we're going to put our arms up and go into a flat back now we're going to do pulses in fifth then open to second one, two, three, four, open five, six, seven, eight, close back. One, two, three, four, open five, six, seven, eight, close. One, two, three, four, open five, six, seven, eight, close. One, two, three, four, open five, six, seven, eight. Now we are going to do full body rotations and rolls, just letting the head go and letting your upper body relax, really feeling that spine and the vertebrae relax and just moving through the motion. Now we're gonna go to the other way and just remember, let your head, your arms just let everything hang and keep everything relaxed now we are going to take your arm and really lightly and gentle pull your head to the side and continue to do it to the other side and when you're doing just this remember don't do it too hard now you're just gonna lean to the back and stretch out your neck but be very careful with this one because it is to the back and get both hands now very lightly and push down to your head okay so now we are gonna go up into second position and big do big plies make sure that you go as low as you can and at the same time bending your arms really want to make sure you're going through the motion really relaxed then we're gonna to go to the side you can do whatever sides you want you can follow along with me or decide to do the right first bend and stretch bend and stretch stretch bend and stretch now we are going to hang forward and just let your upper body hang again and just walk back and forth really feeling the motion in your upper body how much availability you have now we're going to put one arm on the floor and the other up in the air and when you do this, make sure you look up at the arm that's in the air. Make sure you're getting that nice side stretch. Now do it to the other side. Really make sure that you're looking up to get that head stretch too. Now we're going to walk our feet in and really make sure that you are squeezing 
If you cannot do this, then just focus on getting your hands to the floor. You don't have to hug your legs around. Now we are going to walk out into a downwards dog and we're going to slowly rotate through our feet through demi point and then make sure when your feet come down on the floor that your heels, heels are flat. Really just want to push and rotate, not sickling your feet. And now we're going to go into plank, push down, then push up into a cobra position. Really wanting to stretch um, our lower stomach area. And also make sure to not keep your feet wide, just hip distance apart. Now we're going into a lunge. Again, like I've said before, you can do right or left, whatever you desire. Um, and now we're going to do some knee drops up and down. Now lifting up into fifth, we're gonna do some up and down with our knee. My foot kept on sliding out, so if you have to shuffle it back in that's okay but you should not be wearing socks my bad for wearing them now go down into lunge and put one of your arm down that's opposite to the leg lunging and then put the other arm up in the air okay so now you're just going to be doing the same thing and i look at my notes here <laughs> don't mind that i, I kind of look at them a lot but i just want to make sure i'm doing the correct thing for you guys so now we are going to go back um, into our um, sitting on our foot and reaching forward and make sure you're flexing that front foot. If you cannot do this, then just sit up on your knee and reach forward and flex your foot. I look at my notes again. And then now we are going into pigeon. We here as you can see that I'm pointing to my hip make sure that you keep your hip facing the floor and try to get your front foot that's in the actual pigeon 90 degrees and once you accomplish that you can lean forward and just hang out there enjoy the stretch <laughs> Now we are going to slide into our splits. And if you are flat um, like I am, then you can use um, a block um, for your front foot, back foot. Um, you can use it even on your back knee, but I like it best when it's on my front foot. If you do not have a block, you can use books. You can stack up pillows. You can stack up blankets. You can use a soup can. Literally whatever you have is good if you're really flexible you can actually put your foot on a chair if you want um i do need to find myself something higher on the right side i just haven't really found the perfect thing yet now when once you achieve your split you can do many variations you can go front you can go back you can also put your back leg up and try to touch your head with it now we are going to shake our legs out. Make sure you give them a good shake. Make your muscles nice and smooth um, and relaxed. But now we are going to rotate and do the other side. Now I was debating if I should do the left side um, with you guys. Well, it looks like you're right. Um, but I'm actually going to do it with you. So. Um, I could give you the motivation to do it and do whatever you have to do today. So just starting off with those knee raises and stuff. Um, I'm going to stop this voiceover because you already know what to do. You got this. Um, and I'm going to just start the voiceover again when it's new things that we are doing.
Okay, so now you're going to get one of your two legs, lift it up in the air, get your opposite arm and pull it up, and then get the other arm that's remaining and just twist back and look at the back of the room. Now, in this stretch, you are really getting that nice twist while at the same time stretching out your the back of your thigh. So just switch to the other side. Follow along with the video as I'm talking you through it. Now we're going to do just some butterfly flutters. Um, if you would like to hold your ankles or put your hands on the outside of you, it's really up to you. This is just to get our legs nice and warm. And then now you wanna get your elbows and kind of push your legs down to really get that inner kind of thigh stretch and if it's too easy for you then you can actually slide out your feet farther from you um, and this gives you a better stretch and just go one by one with each hand and push down your knee now we are going to do just a simple leg kind of stretch this is like a 90 degree crisscross um, applesauce when you sit down so if you see my ankle is actually hanging over so basically my whole foot is hanging over my knee and I'm just pushing down um, my top knee so I can get that stretch and you want to do that with the same side but you have to make sure that both legs are 90 degrees so you actually are getting the stretch and this um, really helps with turnout for dancers and that's something that I need to work on a lot so I do this stretch very very often now we're just going to do a simple back stretch um, you're going to kind of sit in a crisscross like you would in a chair like a lady's pose but your underneath leg is also coming in like a triangle I'm just gonna really make sure to twist but not twist too much because this if you twist too much then your back can crack and that's really bad for your spine and your spinal cord yeah guys you have just completed um, my daily stretch um, I do do a, a workout if you guys would like to see that comment down below and I will for sure um, do that also while i'm stretching after i do all of this um i do put on my point shoes and do um some point exercises um because i do point in my exams at my studio and it needs to be like on point so <laughs> so um yeah comment down below if you would like to see that too um i didn't put it in this video because not everybody um does point as a dancer or even if you're not a dancer and watching this video and stretching with me that's still great getting some daily exercise in raising your heartbeat well thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this helped you and gave you some motivation to go clean your room i don't know to go walk your dog or something like that um before we end the video like subscribe and comment and thank you so much for watching the video bye